How's it going, boys? Today we are playing an artifact deck. Oh yes, and it's not a, for a Forge World variant. It has two Witching Wills, four Fountains of Renewal. Oh god, Mwah. love you so much. Four Inquisitive Puppets, two Manfold Keys, four Mind Stones, four Steel Observers, four Psymaster Topterists, four Shalilai Sub Somethings, Four Power Stone Shards, four Antiquity Wards, three Mythical Forges, and a bunch of lands. Nothing too really specific. Four Zalfarim Voids, and that's it. 22 lands to be specific. Now, this is obviously Antiquity Safar deck. Oh, yes, no one expects it, no one's prepared, and everyone, you know, clenches their cheeks a little bit tighter when they see it. Because, as you can clearly tell, this deck, well, play, pl well, it, it, it plays artifacts and then they turn into five it's extremely self-explanatory boys but i can tell you one fact it is pretty decent pretty good sometimes even better than expected oh yes so let's just get a cracking and see what happens on this avatar perfect admittedly it's an olamog deck so eh. okay how do i know it's an olamog deck one pre-recorded Two, it's in this avatar. You don't exactly expect a lot. Uh, yes, that's something that I am gonna definitely want in my life. Oh god, we have a Shalilai. Oh no, wait! That is... That is not what I expected, boys. That is a... Uh, what is that again? Well, it's something. Oh god, it's an aggro deck. Wait a minute. It's an aggro deck that starts with Felt Collector and Goblin. Ah, oh, this is the wrong pre-recording we're watching, boys. Oh, ah, uh, oof. What, what, what can I say? Oops, I guess. Okay, so here's the plan. He survives, Antiquity Wars happens, Shy Lilai happens, and maybe we survive a little bit longer. But I have a strange feeling that we're gonna get Ember Cleaved. Because, hey, let's be an agent of treachery and fires of invention, but don't touch the Ember Cleave because it's a relatively new card. Ugh. Well, well, well what, what can you do? Indie Company's gonna have... Uh, has to turn on the lights somehow in the basements. Well, honestly, only a little bit of my problem. But we have options here, and he's thinking currently, like, what are his options? And those options are... Like, Viscuzzi? That was... Anticlimactic... Okay. Skewer the critics it is. Okay, so we're gonna be playing this. Amazing. 10 out of 10 even. And we're gonna be playing... Well, we need to play this. We can't play the puppet, technically, but what does a puppet do? Nothing. Okay, a power stone shard and a mind stone. That could technically be useful. Technically. You know, saying technically, but who god, god knows at this moment. But will it be useful or will it not be useful? So the problem is, Shalila is probably dead. And that creates some, well, arbitrary problems. Okay, let's see. Oh god, he's gonna go for her pretty deep, huh? Okay, that's fa fine. A land of all else. Why hasn't he still yet to play the Ember Cleave? Am I missing something, boys? Am I actually, like, missing something? I have a feeling that I may actually be missing something. Well, anyway, here are our options. They're pretty, well, in the in the street. A forge? Yeah, that forge will do nicely. Okay, so, let us... Oh, nice? Yes, enemy Kun, this is pretty nice. It's what you would call a non-aggro combo deck. Admittedly, aggro is problematic. Especially, like, Gruul aggro, because, well, Gruul aggro has a lot... A lot of problems for us. You see, the underlying thing is, Gruul aggro is problematic because of one simple reason. It's, you know, heavy on the deeps and stuff. So yeah, that is a little bit eh. What can I say? But a life is a life. Okay, so drop this. Let's hope for something good. Now we can do that. We can't exactly do that just yet, but we can do this and maybe find something better. Another sigh. Uh, sadly, not exactly useful at the moment. Okay, we're gonna have to do it like this. He's still gonna want to kill Shalilai, which is, you know, not cool, but... 
I think we can manage this time. Okay, I wonder what he's gonna do. He's obviously thinking about attacking. Oh god, he has an Ember Cleave, boys. It's Ember Cleave o'clock. Oh no, wait, it wasn't? Question marks a lot? Everyone get out their question marks because your boy does not understand what's currently happening? <laughs> oh! Okay! If we win this, by the way, I'm not saying luck, but uh, complete and total luck 100% of the time. Okay, I'm gonna do this right off the bat. Six mon, that's completely fine. Ah, oh, that's still not good. Okay, do it like this then. Okay, and let's see. Okay! A Steel Observer, that is actually perfect. Ish. Okay, what's our plan currently? Nice. Yes, Cinemicon, probably nice. He's gonna probably attack with absolutely everything, which is a problem, but we need to actually get this thing down. Can't risk getting Ember Cleaved upon. Okay, it looks like we win because our deck is just, well, flat out better in situations like this. A Fountain of Renewal. Ah, oh, come on, just top deck something really, really sleek and sexy. Well, honestly, sleek and sexy doesn't matter a lot here because we just got two, two of our bad boys here. And it seems like it's gonna be a victory lap for us. Oh, boys! It took a while, but we did it. Look at that! We won an aggro deck, which is pretty impossible. Not gonna lie. Okay, so he's obviously gonna attack. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can lose all of this because we're gonna be killing him. There is absolutely no question about it. Could have actually, like, blocked also this, but that's fine. Okay, chances of Ember Cleaves zero. It's still fine, though. Yes, it is fine. Okay, these things die, but it doesn't matter because why Antiquity Ward has finally hit the peak. Oh no, enemy Kun. Oh no! So, sacrifice two artifacts, draw a card. Not today. Not, not, not today. Okay, my turn, and it's the third pop of Antiquity War, boys. You know what that means? It means it's over. Oh, yes, it, it just flat out means it's over. Also, finally, we can play a little bit more cards, which is fine, because that's, like, the whole point of this deck. And now, ah, uh, I don't want to do it like that. Well, GG... No re. Ah yeah, boy. Look at that. <clears throat> Antiquity bars, boys. It's a for it. Well, it's it's pretty much a long forgotten card to a, uh, some degree, but it's an extremely fine card in a lot of cases. So yeah, that was relatively simple. I know, shocking. So also yeah. I forgot what I was supposed to say. But anyway, someone reminded me yesterday that I didn't finish up the story. About, uh, the... It's not even ten minutes, so we need to be careful with our wording. Uh, about the female project lead that's a complete b-word. Oh yes, we're gonna keep it PG-13 as much as possible for the time being. So... The deal here is pretty simple. I need all of that. Actually, I don't need the puppet. The puppet's the worst card. So, the thing is, when someone's being a complete cunt to you, but you completely destroy them, because obviously, uh, you're in a pretty, well, you could say interesting position at that point. Because sometimes this happens when that person knows that they are done and they can't tell uh, say anything against you because one they're wrong two they can't win against you they're gonna become extremely submissive and that submission usually in some uh well not usually but in some cases uh turns out essentially something like this uh, i can't play it that's just sad but i can play this that submission turns into something like this unreasonably questionable friendliness type of thing oh yes if you haven't experienced it well tough luck but if you have you know what i'm talking about 
unreasonable submission. It's like, they're gonna be try to be extremely nice to you, despite you completely fucking them over previously. And do not be fooled. If that happens, that person will be nice to you, but there's a 50-50 chance that at the first possibility, they're gonna yet again try to take you down. What the hell is this? I don't know how that works, but yeah, now he can play that and that. Okay, I think I lost. Did I? Yeah, probably. Massacre girl. Who would have expected? Uh, let's just pop the puppets for no reason. Yay, waifu tokens. Yay, more waifu tokens. And they're dead waifu tokens now. It's fine though. It's absolutely not fine. Okay, I think I can't win. Just because reasons at this point. So we're gonna start off with the forge. The forge is useful. And we're gonna do this. Okay, another antiquities. Oh, that's not good. We don't need the antiquities now. We need something else. Okay, a power stone shot. That's good. That's one of the combos. You see, you drop a power stone. You use the minus two here. And you make the power stone into... Okay. So yeah, essentially, that bitch tried to be extremely friendly. But considering I know how this stuff happens, that sometimes people just try to turn on you a moment later when that happens, <clears throat> you know, I still did it. I still was friendly towards her, even after that. Because some people will try to turn against you, and others, you can literally, well, it's not exactly the term slave. But people uh, who fall into that position tend to be extremely more helpful to you than others after that has happened. Because you have literally mentally broken them. And I'm saying that with all the love in my heart. That's a good thing. Okay, this hand is horrible though. Also, I really need to switch out the island's land. Whoever is this, uh, the author of these lands, we will never probably know. Uh, but it's probably one of the most ugliest things I have seen in my life. And you should never do magic art again. Thank you. Oh, this is a Gates deck. Aw, oh, man, I don't know if I can win against the Gates deck. Uh, Gates decks are unreasonably stupid if they just have the stuff. Well, essentially all I need to do is pump these bad boys uh, above two. Well, above above the gate number. And we will not die in horrible fires. Which is always a bonus, in my mind. So, let's just do it like this. Essentially, that's just playing everything. And now, uh, what's it called? Oh, a forge. Yeah, that will honestly do. Okay, so we're pumping and dumping as fast as humanly possible. Because, again, he's gonna play the, uh, the Gates of Blaze. If he just plays... Oh, no, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it, enemy! Oh, good. Woo! Boys! He did not do it! What, 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 what a man! What an absolute legend of a man. And now I'm just gonna continue pumping and dumping. Ah, boys. Let me tell you something. Do I need a second one of... Oh, he just gives up. Yeah. Okay. So, he did not have any gate ramp. Uh, yeah. Oh, we were so lucky there. That win only depended on luck because two, uh, two steel observers. If we didn't pump, he would probably gates ablaze and just kill us. Or he didn't think that he will get the gates ablaze. Oh, that was so lucky of a win, honestly. Well, the previous guy completely just wasted us with ultra lucky draws, but, you know, that... It, it happens. Okay, a manifold key, some Shalila is in a puppet. I really need to replace this puppet. I don't honestly know why it's even in this deck at this point. But it is, and well, sadly, we just have to stick to it. But yeah, I really need to replace that stupid puppet. It's, it's, it's a lot. It, it's just a lot annoying. Okay, Steel Observer, that's completely fine. Okay, what are we dropping? 
Oh god, it's an Olamog deck. Well, everyone knew it's an Olamog deck. But the good, po uh, good part of that is he probably 100% cannot at the moment do anything against us. Because reasons. Or this is an aggro deck. One of the two. Does he drop a uh, elven whatever? Oh god, what is that? I did not sign up for that. And no one told me that I'm gonna have to deal with fucking bears. You know? Cause so someone kinda dropped the ball on not telling me that part. But well, it's honestly fine. Okay, haven't seen that bear in forever. Against blah 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 and trample. Well, the blah 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 part. Cool. What the fuck? Okay, so we're playing against the pure counter. The moment this attacks, it just kills us. Okay, that's an instantaneous concede. Ah, uh, by the way, we can make this deck a little bit arguably better to a degree by implementing for uh, Forge World deck designs here and getting rid of all the blue. But I currently don't want to do that because, you know, that's going to be a separate video that I can milk a little bit later on, boys. Don't you worry about that part. Okay, also we have still like 50 Ulmog decks to make. No, seriously, I have not played against the Reanimator Ulmog deck. Oh, by the way, fun fact. So today I woke up, masturbated. I don't need to tell you guys this, but, you know, it's pretty obvious what I do when I wake up. Um, anyhow, anywho, stuff, uh... What was the point of this story? Oh yeah, I played Magic, uh, and you know what I played against? I played uh, I played against the deck that I made yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I played like four games of Magic, and two of them were against my own Risen Reef decks with slight alterations. Well played, boys. Well fucking played, not gonna lie. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is that? That's disgusting! What? How is this fair? Well, it's never fair, honestly, when you... Ah, man. This is not the dream, currently. Is he gonna kill the Steel Observer now? I have a feeling he will. That would be awkward. He paid life. Goblin Electromancer, fine. That is so unfair. Like, you know the game wants you to lose the moment it's a turn uh, turn one curious obsession. You just know it's over. Also, it's rare you see uh, that being played on a Tin Street Dodger, because, well, let's be honest here, it's not exactly the uh, the best card to ever use you. Uh, he can kill the Observer. Yeah, he has some damage. That's 100%. Damn it! At point at times like this, I wish I, uh, I wish I did put in the deck. What's uh, what's it called? I don't remember what's it called though. Uh, I could win if I get Antiquity Water like off the top now though. It is possible. Let's put the cat on purple to see if it is really really possible. Zelfram Void. Yeah. No. How about how about a flat out no? Okay, so definitely, he can kill the Steel Observer be Well, maybe he... Yeah. Great stuff. Absolutely great stuff. As expected. Okay, and an island. No, we are currently not getting anything that we want in our life. Also, again, with the Stin Street... I should just give up instantaneously. You know it's not gonna be good when it's Curious Obsessions turn one. Well, not technically turn one, but it, it, it is turn one, essentially. It's as close as as it can be. Another Tin Street Dodger. Ah, this is gonna be a lot problematic. Like, a lot, lot problematic. Like, a, a, wait, did he just pump? No. Well, damn it. He's going for the throat, though. That's a little bit in inconspicuous. I wonder why, is he actually, like, seriously low on time or something? 
Uh, what can I do here, though? A power stone shard is not gonna solve all my problems, but it's a start nonetheless. Also, it gives time against these decks, the Fountain of Renewal. We're never gonna crack the egg, though. That's that, that's a little bit of a shame, I guess, but it's fine. Okay, so. Antiquity War would probably win the game right about now. The question is, do we get it? Because we are on a survival-esque type of timer at the moment, sadly. So, what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Do we sacrifice the mi yeah, we sacrifice the Mind Stone. It, it looks about right, the, uh, right about the time we do it. Okay, an Observer? That's not gonna do a lot, sadly, game. It's a little bit too late. And he has ten, uh, three tin three dodgers. Well, honestly, he can't. Well, he can buff all three to attack. It's only two damage per turn because of the fountains, though. Very questionable what's currently happening in this game, and very unfair because of the curious obsessions. Do I make myself very clear about this situation? Okay, two, two observers. Suddenly, everything's looking a little bit differently from the other side. Okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, you got Curious Obsessions turn one. What? Do you, do you want me to not draw a single card, you little bitch? You're using a whatever avatar this is, and she is even uglier than Vivian, and that's like an achievement on its own, to be honest. So don't you give me any of that bullshit lip. Also questionable, what the hell is currently going on? Oh, do we have a chance or do we not have a chance? It's like... How bad is his deck if he has Curious Obsessions turn 1 but he is still incapable of finishing off the game? You know... Sometimes you're just gonna... Uh, you have to ask these questions. He also has a Goblin Electromancer and he's not exactly using any, uh, any cards. Okay, what's going on? Well, the goblin's dead, which is nice. Okay. Can't survive too long now, but that's fine. Well, that's not fine, though. Okay, so what what, what do we draw? What do we draw? A fountain to stall? Well, a witching well is probably one of the better things to get when you don't have any options now, really. Okay, a shall I light. Does that even give us anything? No, sadly it does not give us anything. Okay. At least we're gonna be popping some some fountain boys. Okay, don't attack with anything. Actually, no. Let's just not attack. It may be a mistake not popping the steel observers instantaneously. There is a chance that is punishable. Now, I'm not sure how big of a chance that is, but there is definitely a chance. Okay, suddenly that chance seems a little bit more minute. Okay. 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 Okay, he's not attacking with anything new. A little bit, well, not surprising, I guess, on one side. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what he's thinking about. Big dicks? He must be thinking about something, right? I think it, uh, I definitely think it's something uh, appropriate. Benjamin. Okay, let's pop these bad boys and see what happens. Ah, buffing happens. Well, we all kind of knew that was the case. Uh, let me buff the other one, game. Hello? Thank you. Okay, now these ugly puppets are getting a little bit a lot big. Okay, that gives us a chance, and we're gonna obviously pop this and see what we can actually achieve now. 
maybe, hopefully, something good. Okay, forward stone shot, not the worst. Definitely not the worst. That much I can tell for a fact. So this is four man. I can pop this one also, that means. Okay, a little bit more healing. A Psy Master Artificer. Humbug. Do we play the Psy... Yeah, we will be played like this. Then we play the Psy and then we play the key. That's the key to everything, by the way. Okay, so... We need to start counter-attacking. But the only question is how much can we legitimately, like, counter-attack. We can start sacrificing artifacts to gain a little bit of... Hello there. That does... Man, oh no, that matters a lot. Suddenly that matters a lot. Okay, we can do the untap thing. So let's just untap. We have one mana, so we might as well do it. Okay, so we're gonna attack with this and this. No, with only one. Yeah, let's attack with one. He's really slow on dealing the deeps, so we should be fine. It's hard to say how much aggressive I truly need to be here. Which is a little bit saddening, but hey, that's just life. Putting Sai on the top is probably the worst thing that could have happened to us. You know? All the childhood traumas and everything, nothing compares on getting Sai at the top of the library. Why are you looking at my steel observers? Are you gonna try to, like, do something with them? Oh god, no. Okay, that's, that's like, super bad now, suddenly. How did you get these things? Oh god! It's so pain- No, oh, dude, stop! Am I actually dead now because of this crap? Oh boy, he can attack with everything now. Ah! Oh, how did you manage to draw these Oroska things? Maybe he's not attacking with everything. That's four damn- Ah, oh, I'm just dead next turn anyway, it seems like. Yeah, there's nothing we can do at this moment. If he attacks with everything, we just, you know, dead- Oh, god, he is attacked- Wait, is that- Is that- Is that a cuck move? Oh, no, we're dead because we can't block enough. Well, damn it. This was close, but not close enough. Well, that could have been a little bit better, but yeah, it happens sometimes. This is why, you know, we kind of use usually the Forge World concept. Well, we're gonna mix the Forge World plus this sooner. Well, probably a week for now when I'm uh, when I'm out of deck ideas. But yeah, anyway, this is currently the deck. It's pretty good. It's pretty strong. You can replace the power uh, stone shards, by the way. Uh, without good uh, good old uh, without good old friends the treasure maps can't find them for some reason hello treasure maps please okay here it is treasure maps but it's a little bit mana inefficient to a degree but you know it it, it has its perks just just swap out the stupid puppet for a treasure map and you could technically be fine or swap out a witching well for a treasure map but yeah, this is, well, this is as good as it's gonna get. Or, you know, swap out the size. The size are useful, though. If you if you get lucky, you're gonna get a science shall I like pretty fast, and well, then it's just, well, it's gonna be a good time. But yeah, anyway, so this was Quizzer since then. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything. And have a nice day, bye-bye!